Welcome in Fire Signs. It's Laura from Tenacious Taurus Twin Flame Tarot, and this is going to be your messages for the new moon in Cancer. And so I am going to break it down per zodiac sign. And so we are going to start off by digging into the Aries Collective. I do want to say before breaking it down per signs is my ear is ringing like crazy right now. And so I do feel um, leadership energy for the fire signs. And I started tapping into the fire sign collective and I had like massive, like almost like a heartburn. And so I feel heart centered action is a big message coming through for the fire sign collective. And so Aries, let's jump right in. Um, we're going to start off with Aries because Aries is a cardinal sign. And the same day as the new moon in Cancer, we also have the nodes, the uh, north node moving into Aries. And so I feel uh, for my Aries collective, sun, moon, and rising, home, foundations, your home life and foundations are in focus. And so I feel an entire transition happening uh, when it comes to a reorientation for your life path. And I do feel this is leading to a brand new beginning. And so it might mean you might have to pack up and move. It might require a relocation when it comes to a realignment kind of happening within you, Aries. And so regardless of whatever change is taking place, I do feel the end result is liberating yourself um, from a burden that I feel is no longer an emotional fit for your life moving forward. And so this really is a time where you must learn to be the leader of your life. Aries, do what is best for you. Choose what is right for you. And your new moon affirmation should be, I am a powerful leader. And so that might require you, Aries, to lead by example. Kitty want to come and join in. She hasn't bothered me all day pretty much until I came to sit down um, and start digging into collective energies. All right, Aries, let's, let's jump in with some cards. I chose the Astro Star Seed Oracle deck. I'm sure that's not the exact name, but that's not the point. <laughs> but yeah, I do feel get ready to face some opposition. I feel you might be rearing um, a head-to-head -head battle, a confrontation with somebody. I do feel get ready for a fight, get ready for a confrontation, but you're about to arrive at, at your destination is what I feel. And I do feel this, this is like stepping into leadership energy, stepping into leadership. So I do feel maybe some karma is playing out as well. So remember, always choose you, Aries. Always do what's, what's right for you. Um, as long as you're not stepping on people's toes or something like that, right? Uh, come from a place of integrity. Aries is here to lead. It is the masculine principle. And so, ooh, three cards out the gate. We have the strength card, 13. So you could be going through some type of profound inner transformation. You could, you could be going through the death of, of an idea or this could mean like the death of a foundation surrounding your hearth, your home, Vesta, 32. There could be a massive change on the home front requiring you to move or somebody you're connected with to move. And then we get the second house resources. So I do feel maybe you've been tempted in the past to lower your standards, to lower your worth, just to stay connected to somebody, maybe because of some shared finances, some shared resources. There's that cancer energy coming through. Um, this, is, this has been loud. And so I do feel home. Uh, look to your fourth house. I feel you might be immersed in some heavy emotions um, when it comes to the ending of a home situation. But I do feel this is going to reignite something within you when it comes to arriving at your most authentic self with the Ascendant. So 35 and 8 card again. And so something coming back around. And I do think it's going to take a lot of strength. Maybe you're entering into a new collaboration of some sort. Maybe this is going to affect your entire social group, the Aquarian energy. And there's that death coming through with the 8th house, Scorpio. There's a major completion here, and I do feel um, some karma with Saturn, and I do feel get ready for some type of shakeup. 
we're gonna jump in with the Moonology deck. I actually combined my Moonology original Oracle deck with the Moonology manifestation deck. And so let's get some messages from here. I, I just feel like maybe you've been kind of going within, protecting yourself. I feel this energy of like a hard exterior. So it might be time to kind of lower your defenses or maybe you do need to kind of keep your guard up when it comes to a home situation. But I feel all of these emotions boiling to the surface, Aries. But let's see what else needs to come through for you. Assess the situation, Virgo. We did just have Mars enter into Virgo. And so the, the action being taken right now within the masculine collective energies is planning. Paying attention to the details, assessing the situation, and then we get hold your vision with believe in the impossible. Bottom of the deck, a fiery climax approaches. And so there might be a, a very climactic, catalytic um, ending playing out here in order to get you to take action on a situation where really nothing will come of it. And so I do feel it's been a block for you showing the world, your, the real you, Aries. And so don't take too long assessing the situation. I do feel there's a vision for the future and you've got to believe. You've got to believe that you've got the power. And if resources have been holding you back, don't be tempted to lower your standards just to be connected to somebody. Let's jump in with the tarot and see what else needs to come through for you, Aries. Yeah. There is some sort of family foundation here that maybe has provided some sort of financial security or the false illusion of it being a secure foundation. I do feel maybe um, some pride and some ego is an issue here because there's going to be maybe a lot of pain attached to an ending. Maybe you've spent a lot of time building a foundation, a family with somebody and it's just not bringing you peace and contentment anymore i do feel there's going to be some great sadness and you will heal with time let go of the past i do feel a period of personal growth but it's going to come from a very painful ending a very challenging ending um is how it feels and i do feel you've got angelic protection too as you go through this reassessment so let's see what else needs to come through for you aries we're gonna pull nine cards and we're gonna see uh what what you can maybe expect over the next few days leading into the new moon on monday july the 17th so wake up call uh we get the hanged man in reverse the two of cups in reverse the justice in reverse libra energy the eight of wands that's almost come out in everybody's um spread the two of wands in reverse this has been a long time coming i'm gonna say this has been a couple of years in the making uh we get the four of pentacles where somebody's held on to something uh, a little bit longer than they should have we get Sag with the Temperance or the Balance card, the Three of Pentacles, and the Four of Cups. So I feel stuck, stuck energy, but somebody's moving on really, really quick. There's been a very dry, desolate, stuck situation here. Two people no longer on the same page. I do feel there's not a healthy exchange of energies playing out here. Somebody within this situation certainly lacks integrity. And I feel there's somebody getting a wake-up call when it comes to standing up for what they believe in. Maybe somebody's been indecisive for the last couple of years when it comes to taking the next steps forward. Holding on because of maybe difficulty in managing resources. Maybe there's been um, resources kind of squandered uh, because of some extreme toxic behavior here. And I do feel somebody's really been holding on, holding on. Um because of maybe the stress it's going to cause to embrace some movement forward. But I do feel um, self-control in order for a release of like some boredom. There's a wake-up call here. There is definitely a major wake-up call. Maybe there's going to be some distractions playing out. I don't, I don't feel you work well with this person. Maybe at one point it was a passionate relationship. Maybe it come in very passionate. But I do feel like um, a lot of arguing, a lot of defensiveness. There's a lot of blockages, a lot of walls. 
and I feel a lot of challenges. Like I just feel like a battle zone and no longer investing in this. I do feel a repose, a step back to heal, to heal from heartbreak, to go within, to take a break, to allow some healing to take place. I feel this overwhelming mental mental exhaustion, mental anxiety. And so I feel somebody's really stayed stuck, over-reflecting, ignoring the insights. And there's going to be an awakening to see things in a whole new light. Maybe somebody uh, was the martyr and overgave. And and maybe there's some sort of victim mentality here that, that's prevented somebody from moving forward. But I just feel... Um, overwhelming discontent and boredom maybe at one point in time this worked well but I do feel this has affected somebody's reputation so I feel there's going to be a need to defend yourself coming up here within the next couple of days so let's take a look at uh, the hanged man reverse yeah, a wake-up call as to the imbalance here. There could be some karma playing out here. I just feel somebody giving more than they've been receiving back, sharing more than they've been receiving. And I do feel exposure to the imbalance when it comes to a relationship that maybe stems back a long time ago, all the way from childhood. I do feel a toxic pattern here, a toxic childhood pattern. And, and I do feel over-romanticizing how things used to be. And there's that self-reflection. So the Pisces-Virgo axis is coming up. And so I do feel it's time to shine the light on something very imbalanced here. And to go through a period of self-discovery. Because I do feel there's been some level of resistance to making these changes that I feel have been required for a couple of years now. There's going to be a revelation that is going to break somebody free um, from an old mindset, an old belief system, and it's going to lead to a brand new beginning in love, Aries. So the Page of Cups, I do feel the energies are going to be overly sensitive, maybe a little bit moody, um, but I do feel a new emotional experience is around the corner. But you're going to have to go into your heightened psychic abilities and trust that um, there's been some shady behavior here. And so somebody here has not been honest. Maybe this is going to lead to some, t some type of material loss. But is it really worth losing your peace of mind over trying to figure everything out? You might never, ever get the truth out of this person. I do feel it's time to make a judgment call. So a review all of the past of your foundation, of your home, where do you need to forgive somebody? And I do feel the energy is saying it's time to head in a new direction. Clarity is coming. This is connected to your purpose, Aries. And I do feel a contemplation of planting some new seeds. I do feel maybe you need to admit, admit about a bad investment or there there is some type of bad investment here. That maybe you've spent a lot of time patiently trying to make things work. But I do feel there's a lot of worry, too, about going towards something in the future. So I do feel choosing the path of healing after making a very unwise choice. Aquarian energy, definitely dealing with somebody who lacks integrity, questionable motives. And I feel um, embrace these positive changes. It will end the challenging times. It will break you free from something that's been very unhealthy. So let's get you one last message from Spirit Aries. Messages for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. They miss you. Reach out. You're being given a chance to do something differently. What will you do differently? I feel maybe you've got somebody here that every time you try to break free, they reach out. They say they miss you. And I do feel you are being asked to take a different approach. Is this person somebody that treats you with dignity and respect? Because I do feel this lesson is serving to teach you something important about yourself. Um, you don't have to be the victim. You don't have to be the martyr. And so you are given... You are being given a chance to do something over. And maybe this is a lesson in standing up for yourself. Asserting yourself with boundaries. And 
choosing what's right for you. And that's kind of what I got for you, Aries. I do think there's some obstacles ahead, and I do think you're going to get through this. If you would like to book a personal or a soulmate reading with me, I do encourage you to check out the description box below. If you're leaving me here, good luck throughout the new moon cycle. And if not, uh, we are going to be jumping into Leo next. I think we're going to go to Leo next. Leo, let's talk about the energies coming in for you for this Cancer New Moon. And so what I feel for my Leo Collective, it is a fixed energy. We do have Venus and Leo right now about to station retrograde on the 22nd. And so I do feel for my Leo Collective, especially Sun, Moon and Rising, you are about to go through a massive transformation when it comes to your belief system. I do feel your inner beliefs, your programmed beliefs are going through a tremendous, powerful uh, change. I do feel this new moon is initiating something when it comes to your purpose, when it comes to self-care, your overall well-being and your health. Leo uh, rules the heart. So maybe heart health, maybe uh, you've been burning the candle at both ends and uh, it's kind of time that the universe teaches you that this really isn't the pathway to be going down long term. So I do feel a brand new day, though. I do feel you have the power to initiate this change. But there is going to be a sudden shift. And anything out of alignment is likely going to be removed from your life if you don't choose to initiate this change. And so... A new moon affirmation for my Leo Collective would be, I deserve rest, I deserve self-care, and my well-being is just as important as my work. So what about you too, Leo? So let's jump in with the cards. So we'll see what else needs to come through for you. We're going to dig in with the Astro Oracle deck. Um, yeah, we got the Taurus that rules the second house. Money. I do feel money, resources, maybe you've been tempted. I do feel an opportunity, a crossroads to maybe choose another pathway to maybe build a foundation with somebody else. Be careful not to be tempted to lower your standards. You could be dealing with the Taurus for sure, or you could have the dragon's head and tail in your chart somewhere, Leo. This would be like uh, definitely connected to an Aries rising. That's interesting. Um, but I do feel shared resources, your self-worth, your self-value, that's all coming up to be addressed. How do you nurture yourself? Taurus also is the Empress energy, so I feel a pivot point for my Leos here. Yeah, maybe you've been burning the candle at both ends and maybe it's time to make a final decision. Maybe it's time to choose a pathway. So let's, uh, let's see what else needs to come through for you, Leo, Sun, Moon. And rising signs. What messages need to come through for my Leo Collective? We get uh, the Chiron card. The core wound. The wounded healer. So, oh my eye is itchy. There is some type of cycle coming to, coming to a close when it comes to a core wound. Maybe that's affected um, some one-on-one -on -one relationships. Or your entire belief system. Ooh, we get the Venus energy. This is divine feminine energy, the beloved. And so something about Venus and Leo going retrograde, this is bringing some type of cycle, some type of completion when it comes to a healing journey. And it might be a painful ending. Um, there's going to be a lot of endings. There's going to be a lot of uprooting. So there might be an uprooting of some sort um, within a partnership. Interesting. There could be an uprooting. There could be some deep, deep past life wounding and karma here that is needing to be addressed before going towards a divine counterpart as well. Um, a divine counterpart. Yeah, there's there's a past cycle here that is needing to close out with the south node. And so something about that north node shift, maybe you have a Taurus north node or an Aries north node. There's something coming to a head when it comes to taking a risk in love. The fifth house is the house of love, the house of passion, the house of creative creativity, the house of fun and gambling where we take a risk. Maybe somebody took a risk and they got tempted and and, and now they're kind of stuck in, in, a, in a deeply rooted past life cycle needing to heal, to go towards a, a divine union of some sort. 
Let's see what else needs to come through with the Moonology deck. I've combined the Moonology Original Oracle deck with the Moonology Manifestation, kind of like my big Bertha here. And so I think it's been a lot of hard work, I feel, recognizing a lot of toxic patterns with Capricorn, with Pluto and Capricorn retrograde. I do feel it's a lot of internal work when it comes to power struggle dynamics and closing out cycles. Maybe there's a masculine here uh, going through a rebirth and there is a conclusion at reach. So Leo, let's see what else needs to come through. Please remember, only take what resonates and leave behind the rest. So we're going to get a few of these cards for you, Leo. Surrender. Something about that last full moon in Capricorn, I do feel the energy of surrender. And now the opportunity maybe to plant a new seed and to heal a divine partnership is coming to completion. I do feel a divine partnership. And so keep your heart open, Leo. Keep your heart open. Libra energy. Release your blocks. Scorpio energy. Definitely with the North Node shift from Scorpio to Libra, there could be a hard awakening. There could be a realization taking place here about a partnership. I actually only wanted one, but I flipped two. So focus on the positive and think things through. So we get the Gemini and Sagittarius axis. I feel this energy of a cycle that's been winding completion since about the Gemini North Node. So this could have been playing out for the last several years. And as the South Node shifts into Libra, there will be a heart opening. Maybe somebody's really had to focus on the positive, waiting for somebody to think things through as they worked through maybe releasing some blocks. I think somebody's getting ready to be bold and to make a move here. And it will require a level of humbleness, humility even, with the Leo energy. And so this cardinal new moon is asking for somebody to work through their feelings, to make a bold move, and to release any blocks. So I do feel you're going to need to take a deep breath as the bigger picture kind of comes full circle for you, Leo. So major release of the past, the past beliefs, tremendous change. Page of Cups, the devil. So there is something about the past. And I do feel action to take responsibility for a situation. I got really dizzy there, um, Aries. And so I do feel somebody's really been spiraling. Is kind of what it feels like, spiraling. Really in some obsessive thought processes with the devil energy too when it comes to a new beginning maybe even an apology um i do feel a decision is being made to break some chains here and choosing to release an unhealthy pattern an unhealthy habit maybe some addictions there is a new beginning here there might even be an apology an open-hearted apology when it comes to a romantic endeavor uh, let's, let's get a spread out here, Aries. I mean, Leo, maybe you're dealing with an Aries. I just feel, um, I just feel like this masculine energy taking action. I actually feel very like foggy. So maybe somebody's like taking action and really not thinking through what they're doing, but I, I just feel it's been foggy. It's been confusing. All right, let's see what we got here for you. King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, the world. So a major cycle, a major lesson. We've got a King of Cups here. We've got a masculine looking a lesson straight in the face is what I see. Ready to face opposition, ready to face challenges, ready to stand up for what he believes in. And I do feel ready for battle. We get the Knight of Swords in reverse. We get the Temperance as the dead central energy. There's that Sag. We've got an Earth Angel here that's really stayed, stayed focused on the positive. That's really, I feel, stayed balanced and mastered self-control um, over the Devil. We get the, uh, we get the Devil card or the Ego card again. Capricorn energy. We get Aquarian energy with the Star reversed. 
the Eight of Wands, and the Six of Coins reverse. There's a lot of karma playing out this new moon, and there is a brand new beginning here. Leo, there's a fresh new start. There's a clean slate. Somebody's going after their dreams. Um, somebody's going to push fears aside, and they're going to trust, and they're going to take a leap of faith. And I do feel going, going maybe back to something from the past. Um, maybe going back with an apology, a confession after, you know, an unwise choice, facing, facing their karma. Um, maybe admitting where they've lacked integrity because I feel somebody missed a magical opportunity with a pre-empress here. The nine of pentacles. And so I do feel we've got a masculine here all up in his feelings. Maybe in the past this person was not trustworthy. I do feel um, a lesson being learned. Somebody wants to come in. And I and I feel this pre-empress is cautious. She's cautious. She's a little standoffish. Uh, she's quite fine on her own. She doesn't want or need for anything. Uh, she can buy herself something special if she wants to. She can buy herself flowers, Leo. Um, she's quite good all on her own. And I feel somebody in the past had hidden motivations, questionable hidden motivations. And now they want to come in well-intentioned and close out a cycle. Something coming back around, something coming full circle. And maybe be, before this person was a little on guard, a little defensive. The King of Cups isn't really like super emotionally available. I do feel somebody made a poor decision, an unwise choice, and maybe uh, left a situation prematurely because of their ego. And, and I feel maybe they stayed stuck for a while, not wanting to accept responsibility. I do feel a rebalancing coming back because there's some karmic debt that is owed here is what it feels like, Leo. And I do feel communication after a period of dark night of the soul. Somebody was all up in their ego and maybe they, maybe they lied. Maybe they manipulated. Maybe they were a schemer. We could have had a pathological liar. We definitely had somebody that I feel um, held on to some bitterness. And wouldn't forgive a situation and and thought that was asserting their personal power but I do feel somebody's deeply wounded here and I do feel they're gonna come in and they're not they're not gonna give up too easy when it comes to rebalancing a situation and paying off some karmic debt so I do want to clarify the king of cups and then we'll get you some advice yeah, I think we have a King of Cups here that maybe got misguided by falsehoods, received some poor counsel, uh, definitely didn't do what was best for him, um, and he's getting a wake-up call, Pisces energy, Taurus Pisces, about uh, losing out on wish fulfillment is what it feels like. So there is a major wake-up call. I do feel there is... A possibility to reach a compromise and maybe it will take a few months to build trust into Sagittarius season but I do feel yeah somebody was all up in their head over analyzing the loss of wish fulfillment and I do feel they can't pretend that this isn't on their heart anymore this is like a, a past life connection a past life connection, a very passionate connection. We could have a masculine going through an activation and a heart chakra purge, getting ready to confess a heavy burden that's been on his heart for a while, going back to somebody from the past. The Queen of Swords can represent an ex. And she is going to hear you out. She will hear you out, but she will cut you out too if you don't come with the truth. She's very intuitive. She's, she's very loving too, but... She makes those harsh judgment calls and she removes the emotion from that Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And so uh, she will see right through your lies. And so maybe there's fear about having to face the past, but there's a wake up call here. There's definitely a wake up call. So let's get you one last message from Spirit Leo. A message for Leo. I swear to God, I think there's a mosquito down here. I feel like I got bit by a mosquito. Uh, it could be the energy of feeling like you got bit or burned by somebody, but I do feel 
It's time to choose the pathway of love and to release anybody that makes you feel small. So I do feel somebody's been depleted, dissatisfied in all areas of their life, and they're recognizing the unhealthiness that they've created and they want to return to something that was lost from the past. So I do feel somebody's going to be facing some challenges, some obstacles when it comes to freeing themselves from an illusion or a negative cycle, a negative influence, a pattern from the past and finding their strength and, and bravery to recognize some self-sabotaging sab self behavior and getting honest with themselves. You can't get honest with another until you get honest with yourself, Leo. And so that's kind of what I got for you for the new moon in Cancer. I hope this helped. I hope this resonated. If you would like to book a personal or a soulmate uh, reading with me, do check out uh, the description box below. I'm going to be moving on to Sag next. So if you're staying with me, great. If not, good luck throughout the new moon. And Sag is up next. Hello, Sagittarius. Welcome in. So this is going to be your new moon in Cancer energy reading. So I find it interesting right before I hit the record button, I had three sneezes. And so you might want to think about some health improvements uh, that came through. I do feel some work related issues for my Sagittarius collective. Keep in mind, this is for sun, moon, rising. I do feel like there's a group of Sag that I'm connected with that have been going through a lot of challenging uh, times. Uh, with work and health um, this year and so I do feel the cancer new moon might provide some type of positive breakthrough for you um, when it comes to any financial restrictions any soul contracts or soul agree agreements that uh, are here to teach you a lesson maybe about self-empowerment but I do feel a time of putting yourself first, choosing yourself first. And so I do feel like this physical body healing taking place uh, with Sagittarius. Um, so if you've gone through like a health scare or something with your health recently, getting stronger every day. So an affirmation for my Sagittarius collective would be, I choose what feels right to me and, and making those improvements and shifting towards a more empowering cycle for my Sagittarius collective. So let's jump in with the cards. We're going to dig in with the um, stars. Is it this Astro Oracle star code uh, Oracle deck? We'll get you a few of these messages. So North Node Future First House Arrival. So I do feel uh, a North Node activation. You're definitely um, stepping towards your karmic mission, your future timeline, and maybe even going through um, some past life memories, opening up the doorway to some past life, like arriving. I feel like arriving at your most authentic self, taking control of a situation, choosing yourself, um, choosing to, you know, lead yourself into the future there might be a huge release um when it comes to some area in your life there might be a huge release of a person place or thing maybe a job uh but let's see what else needs to come through for you sagittarius yeah all of a sudden i'm like all stuffed up and so your health might be in focus Maybe it's taken a lot of strength to go through some type of rebirth process. 13, maybe you've been shedding some old negative vices. There's that ascendant energy again. The arrival, the first house, we get the eighth house. Definitely um, some, some sort of death process. Um, when it comes to a completion of a cycle, Scorpio energy coming through and there's some opposition. So there might be some opposition. There might be going head to head with somebody and you might need to recover after a breakthrough or a breakup um, from a very restricting soul contract of some sort or agreement, whether it's opposition at work or on the home front. But I do feel some type of death, some type of ending. And I do feel this has really affected your subconscious mind. And so this might be a shift. Maybe there's been some mental health issues coming up and exploring maybe a newfound way of communication or maybe you've been tapping into some type of telepathy which has really um made you overly sensitive maybe you have been receiving some divine communication about a very sensitive situation where maybe you've been asking for that clarity if that's the case i do feel the clarity is coming when it comes to a deeply rooted uh connection here maybe um 
maybe some mission work together, some spiritual community mission work together. But let's see what else needs to come through with the Moonology deck. I've combined two Moonology decks, like the Moonology original deck, along with the Manifestation deck. And so clear your mind and attune with the divine Gemini Pisces. And so mutable signs really are being affected. Maybe not to the extent of the cardinal signs, but we do have a lot of Pisces energy playing out in the collective and uh, the Gemini, there's the moon is actually in Gemini right now as I'm recording this. So really be mindful of how much time you're spending in obsessive thought patterns. I do feel going within the heart will allow you to attune to uh, the divine when it comes to any telepathy from your guides, from your higher self. If you're connected to another telepathically, it will allow you to receive the message in the heart. So we'll see what else needs to come through for you, Sagittarius. The energy is gaining momentum. And so it's almost like building, 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 building. And so your commitment is definitely being tested. Maybe this is confrontation in a one-on-one -on -one relationship. And maybe this is going to be the straw that breaks the camel's back. The energy is building, building. And in, there's that Pisces. Meditate and contemplate. So work through your feelings. The Aries energy. So I do feel your commitment to yourself for sure is definitely being tested because the ascendant is saying you're arriving at your most authentic self. So maybe you will be tested to stand firm in your beliefs. Maybe you're yeah. going to get a health scare. Give me one second. There could be a health scare or a job loss and it might trigger a lot of unresolved emotions and you might have to work really, really hard uh, to, to regain a sense of balance. I do feel with Pluto retrograde and Capricorn too. This is asking you to reevaluate your work. Uh, we're not here to work harder and earn less. We're here to, you know, enjoy life with, with a little less of the grunt, right? As we move into the age of, of Aquarius and, and move towards an empowering career cycle. So I do feel a heart awakening to some degree as well. And you're going to need to make time for self-care and self-love in order to find some type of balance. I do feel the energy is going to be very overwhelming. So you could be dealing with a Libra, strong Libra, but I do feel this is connected to the nodal shift, the Aries and the Libra energy. Um, you might have strong Pisces in your chart, but I do feel your commitment to yourself is definitely being tested. So you might want to get grounded. You might want to... You know, uh, stay balanced uh, the best that you can and believe and believe in yourself. Yeah, let's let's dig in with the tarot and see what else needs to come through for you, Sagittarius. There's that burden. So I do feel maybe if you've been working too hard, working a lot of overtime hours, it's it's like creating an imbalance between your work life and your home life. And, and I do feel maybe some stress issues, some heart issues, a lot of health problems due to maybe overworking. Maybe it's time to rethink that belief and improve something. Maybe there will be like work, works coming to a dead stop in order to get you to go within and to get some rest to heal your heart. But I do feel there's going to be an unexpected shakeup in order to release a longstanding burden of overworking. So let's see what else needs to come through for you, Sagittarius. Actually, I saw something on Facebook, I think. It said, like, men on average, that if they don't take their, their two weeks vacation every year and get away, they are at higher risk for heart attacks and heart disease. And so we were not designed to be working robot, robots. We were here to be creators and to live. And so there could be a breaking free from an old mindset. There's that Capricorn energy, something about Pluto retrograding Capricorn. So somebody is breaking free from maybe an old mindset when it comes to um, the, the working field and the illusion of being trapped in a never ending cycle of, you know, working for somebody else. We get the Knight of Cups. There may be an opportunity for something new here, the Ten of Swords. And so this is like the worst has already happened. There could be an unexpected ending here, a heartbreak, the three of swords, the two of cups in reverse, 
the Three of Wands, the Three of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles. Uh, maybe somebody's chosen to overwork to avoid um, an ending. I do feel there's two people here separating, parting ways. I do feel somehow work has been an issue, a factor. I do feel um, there could have been third party interference. Work could have been a block. Work could have been a problem. I do feel there's like some type of canceled engagement here. And and maybe we've got a Knight of Cups here that doesn't want to admit that this is over. Holding on to an endless situation, an ending situation. I do feel it's time to let go of the past. I do feel somebody breaking free from an unhealthy situation. And letting go of maybe somebody that's just emotionally immature when it comes to a relationship that lacks balance. So I do feel maybe this is a relationship where you fell in love quickly. You were swept off your feet quickly. It was like a sudden love affair. And somebody might have been holding on because they didn't want to give up on this person because they loved them and they wanted things to go back to the way they were. But I see somebody here very emotionally immature. Um, and I do feel there was some type of addictions here, maybe like addicted to love, addicted to uh, the the honeymoon stage. But I, I do feel like a, a romance faded very quickly. And this has been held on to for a very long time because somebody didn't want to go through the challenge of the heartbreak and to receive the personal growth that would come with that. And so I do feel an opportunity to take steps forward to release a situation where maybe you were engaged to this person or maybe you know it's embarrassing when you announce all over social media that you're together you're engaged and then there's a fallout there's the worst has happened and this kind of gets exposed and then holding on a little longer than than you should uh because you want to save face but i do feel there's going to be an opportunity to plan for the future to release some pride I do feel something about laboring. I do feel working was, was a block. Working was an issue. Hmm. And, and, it, and it's like this energy of like the rug being pulled out from under somebody. Because there's been an imbalance. I feel somebody consciously looking this pattern in the face. And maybe this hurts. Maybe this is emotionally upsetting. But I do feel we've got somebody here that just really doesn't have any love left to give is what it feels like, Sagittarius. There's a lack of balance. There's a lack of compromise. There's been, you know, an attempt to blend maybe two people together, but it's just not working. And I feel afraid to move forward, afraid to admit that there was a mistake here. Let's take a look at the two of cups in reverse because there's two people here not on the same page. And I do feel a very challenging ending. Yeah, I feel like the passion is gone. Maybe maybe um, a kid has said something, but I just feel the spark is gone. The creative juice is gone. The passion is gone. The excitement is gone. Um, and it's kind of time to move on, to get your emotions in check, to move on, to know your worth, to know your value. Uh, the queen of coins, she's generous. She's practical. Uh, she knows her worth. She knows her value. She's not going to invest in somebody that is not going to be practical. And so I do feel uh, a head over heart decision. And choosing uh, to find your determination and your willpower to reprioritize. I do feel releasing a stuck stagnant situation. Yeah, like the love is gone. I feel the love is gone. And it's a block to a deep, intimate connection somewhere else. And so I do feel maybe recovering from mental illness. Maybe this affected your mental health. But I do feel like going towards a new intellectual challenge, going towards something new, receiving the information that you need, no matter how challenging it is to receive this information, to be able to move forward from, you know, like a, a losing situation, like nobody's winning here. It's a lose-lose situation. And we've got somebody here that really isn't invested in it anyway with the King of Coins in reverse. Two people, like I said, not on the same page anymore. 
We've got a masculine, I feel, not willing to change, not willing to budge. We could have a feminine here that has an unexpected choice in love. And maybe she's had this unexpected choice for a while. And um, and choosing to go towards that. Because I do feel there, there was financial security blocks here. There was a lack of support. And plain pretend, right? Plain pretend. I feel uh, moving on. Let's get you a closing message from Spirit, Sag. Uh, what else does Spirit want you to know? Take time to recon reconnect with your heart. Take time. I do feel like this person is grateful for you, maybe grateful for what you've done. Uh, but I do feel it's time to, to go into the heart and to get honest about what's really going on here. So I do feel healing the past, stepping into the present so you can start embracing the future. So get ready to refocus your energies, recentering yourself because this is not worth your time and you are encouraged to release it. And that's kind of what I've got for you, Sagittarius. I hope this helped. I hope this resonated. If you would like to book a personal or a soulmate reading with me, I do encourage you to check out the description box below. And I do look forward to seeing you all again next time. Thank you.